Hi, it's Wayne O'Keefe, and I've been asked many, many times why I don't use circle hooks. Now, if you see my videos, you'll notice that uh, most of the time I catch fish in the side of the mouth, but there are occasions when they get deep hooked and I have to cut the line and I have to return those fish. I usually don't try and get pliers or try and get that hook out when it's, it's deep. I usually cut the line, let it go, and the fine wire hooks that I use rust very quickly, dissolve, and the fish is fine. Uh, but there are, there are times when they will do damage. Um, the reason that I use a standard J hook or even suicide hook, and I'll just show you like something, something like that, those type of hooks, okay, is that when I fish, I'm very, very active. And so what will happen is I try to set the hook when I'm fishing. Uh, if you fish around Melbourne where there's heavy fishing pressure and there, there are a lot of mullet around, so that species in particular uh, is around our estuaries and our bays. So you'll get a lot of those fish and they, they are very picky. They'll bite and drop. Also, uh, brim sometimes are a very aggressive feeders, but sometimes not, they're the same, they'll drop. Uh, and other species do the same. I like to be actively fishing, and when I do, and in fresh water, there's a lot of species that will do exactly the same. I need to strike into those fish. Now, if I show you the standard hook that I use most of the time is something like that, okay? This happens to be a fairly short suicide hook, and, or a beak hook, um, but usually that's the type of hook that I use. The way that it works is that if you're pulling that, if the fish takes up the bait, as soon as you pull it, it catches into the mouth. So if the fish swallows it right up in its stomach, swallows it, it'll catch up in there. So the, um, the point of the hook is parallel to the shank, so that, and that are parallel, which means that all, as soon as it touches anything, it digs in. Now, that's what I use all the time, but they do get gut hooked from time to time, but that is very, very good for striking into because the moment you do pull, it hits into that skin. Now, the other type of hook that I use, but not as often, is the circle hook. And you'll see that what it has is a in curving or bent point. So it goes around, right around, almost to a right angle to the shank. It almost looks like it's been bent and wouldn't work. Now, the, the fact is that you don't strike with that type of hook because as you can imagine, that point there, because it's point, pointing in, the parts that are parallel here, that, will rub, that can rub up against the skin and never make hard contact until it gets to the, if we put it this way, if it, so it glides along until it gets to the end of the, um, or the corner of the mouth, or as it's leaving the fish's mouth, then it catches just in the corner. So it won't get gut hooked It'll just slide along until it's leaving and then it tends to catch at that point. And so that's why they are so good for self-hooking uh, rigs that you use, or if you're not paying attention to your rod, or if you have to wait a long time for a fish to bite. So what happens is you don't strike with those hooks. If you're going to strike, what you do is you do it very slowly you allow more and more tension on the line, and when it finally gets to its most tense, you can just slowly pull it in. So all you're doing is you're letting it sort of the fish move away. It might be, you might have that bait in its mouth somewhere. As the bait starts to leave its, its mouth, it'll catch right at that end, and you don't pull it away from that. All you're doing is assisting with that slow draw. But the best way is to simply let the fish hook itself. And I do use them when I go after big fish and when, or if I'm, if I'm camping with somebody, if I'm out with friends um, and I'm not focusing on my, my rods, I will basically change off to a circle hook and then use that and let the fish hook themselves.
It doesn't work well with those fish that pick up and drop, pick up and drop, uh, simply because they're not actually taking it in so that into their mouth so that then on the way out it catches. They're actually just pulling at the bait. So you've got to work out what you're going to use on the day. But that's the reason I like to strike into my fish and that's the reason I don't use those so-called hooks. They're very good, but they don't suit the style of fishing I do most of the time. Anyway, if this has been valuable to you, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and have a look for any gear, lots of information uh, and fishing lessons on my website, howtofish.com.au.